So let's look at the problem of finding a particular solution to our equation y double prime minus y equals t squared. Remember, any particular solution will do. So the question is, what sorts of functions can we combine with their derivatives in order to end up with t squared? We can first conclude rather quickly uh, that it's integer powers of t whose derivatives will give us integer powers of t. And this being an integer power of t, we conclude that y has to be some combination of integer powers of t. t, t squared, t cubed, constant terms of course, the zero power. Um, we also look at this particular equation and conclude that y had better not contain any power of t greater than the second power because y double prime is going to contain only powers less than the highest power present in y. If there's a t cubed present in y, there's not going to be a t cubed present in y double prime because, of course, the first derivative of a t cubed is a t squared, multiple of t squared, and a derivative of a multiple of t squared is a multiple of t. None of the higher derivatives are going to be multiples of t cubed meaning that there's nothing to cancel the t cubed that we would have if we included it in our y function. 